What is going on, everybody? And on today's episode of Pinch House Garage, we're going to give you guys a breakdown of what's going on on this year for 2023, because we got a lot of stuff coming, and new stuff, and old stuff, and more stuff. It's a busy year for Pinchiao. A heart attack won't stop me. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna make more content. I'm gonna get you guys excited for all the new stuff that's coming. So, without further ado, this is Pinchiao's Garage. So, for the new year 2023, we got a project right here, a brand new Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. Now, this is a bike that I've been wanting for quite a while now, after doing tons and tons of research. Let's go and give it a walk around, and we'll tell you what's going on. So the Interceptor 650 is a 650cc bike, um, parallel twin engine with dual exhaust, uh, six-speed manual transmission slip disc. Uh, it's a cool bike. For the price of uh, pretty much $5,500 MSRP, you can't beat this bike for what it is. It's not fast. It's also not very slow. It's a very, very fun bike to ride. It does what it needs to do. Now, I'm not the person to come to for reviews, uh, especially because I have very, very little experience and uh, overall experience on bikes. This is my first actual like motorcycle in comparison to the scooters that we have. So this is a project bike that I'm gonna get involved, I'm gonna do a cafe racer style modifications to it. Uh, give it a different look besides what comes from the factory. I'm not changing the paint job I'm changing the overall look besides the paint on the tank everything else will be changing So look forward for a bunch of content uh, Coming for this bike uh, very soon. We're gonna be doing exhaust upgrades suspension upgrades the front forks are gonna be upgraded handlebars um, We're gonna be doing the intake system. We're gonna be doing a tune Definitely uh, tires as well. Uh, we're also going to be doing a lot of visuals. So we're going to be changing the seats out. We're going to be changing the grips. We're going to be changing the brake and clutch system. We're going to be changing. Um, we're going to be giving the uh, the bike some adjustable clutch uh, for the for it, for it. We're going to be also be doing a whole rear uh, lighting assembly conversion from um, just basic bulbs to LED. Same to the front. We're going to be converting the front from basic bulbs to LED. Um, we're also going to be getting a GPS system mounted for it so we can provide more future uh, proof riding for long distance and enjoying, you know, just the bike overall. We're also going to be doing some MPG comparisons, especially for where I live in Ramona, California. There's a lot of mountains and hills. What they don't tell you on the reviews, especially a lot of people who own these bikes, they don't show you what these bikes can do up and down hills on miles per gallon. Uh, believe it or not, the MPG on these things are phenomenal when you're riding correctly with it and not over, you know, revving the crud out of the bike and just using it based on what it's for. On top of that, we're going to be doing a lot of other modifications um, that will fix a lot of the looks of this bike, especially here. Uh, this gray stuff that's like really out of place. Kind of throws me off we're going to be changing the color of that um, i found some really cool uh, casings for the for this thing probably converting the polish to a nice black i'm not there yet but again we're going to be doing a lot of cool mods uh, one of the big mods i already did was heated grips i love these super easy to do i didn't film it um i should have filmed it uh but i could probably give you guys a breakdown i made a bracket for it because uh, the factory mounting wasn't done really well. Um, but it was a super easy install. 
uh, we're going to be doing a lot of comparisons for this bike. So that's one bike that we're, one um, piece of uh, equipment that we're going to be doing new. So I'm going to show you guys the next one. All right. So now this is bike number two, the 2022 Honda ADV 150. We've already got a ton of content on this bike. We've already done a ton of modifications and we're like, we got more. We got so much more coming. Uh, we're going to get ready to stretch it. So we're going to push it out about three to four inches from stock. We're going to lower it. We're going to get some, um, I'm hoping to get some uh, wire wheels for it from, uh, from the Philippines or Thailand. Uh, on top of that, we're going to do a big bore kit and some other fun. Uh, we got definitely there's a seat we got to do as well and some other fun modifications on this bike because you know what? I mean, since it's such a really nice, affordable bike and it's fun to modify, and if you guys ever want to get into modifying scooters, this is probably one of the funnest platforms I've ever been uh, done anything on, especially because it's so simple to do and it's just, you reap a lot of rewards for doing modifications. But here you go, let's do a little walkthrough. Our third bike for the series here at Pinchel's Garage is the 2022 Kimco X-Town 300. Now this scooter is awesome. I love this scooter because it's got a lot of balls. It doesn't look like a boring old like, what do they call those, a uh, Bergman 300s or a Bergman 400. It looks a little bit more sport sportier than a typical a scooter and I love it for that Has a lot of character. It looks great. The color choices when you find them are phenomenal and the price is just right now This is a 400 pound bike. So it's like 420 430 pounds Believe it or not you can probably save about a good 30 to 40 pounds by swapping out that beefy exhaust for something more lightweight and sportier um, There's quite a few choices online for this guy. We're gonna do that I already did my first DIY on this one, which was the clutch and vari variator kit from Melosi. It opened this bike up so much more. I'm so happy for it. Um, the company that makes the, the, the variator for this, I mean, they put very heavy weights, again, for gradual acceleration. We went a little bit lighter. We went to, uh, I think we went to 17 grams. I think I'm going to go down to... Um, 15 or 12 gram weights on this bike uh, just to experience some better uh, low end performance uh, besides that though phenomenal gas mileage fits too very comfortably and it's just a great bike to own now my next thing is modifications what we're doing to this bike we're not doing a lot because the owner of this bike my friend Nick doesn't want to do much to it but we are going to be upgrading the exhaust number one we already bought heated grips for it, so we're already gonna be putting heated grips on this bike. That's number two. We're gonna learn how to remove the tub and all the body panels so you have full access to the pretty much the frame. So if you ever need to do any repair work or any maintenance or cleaning, you'll know how to take apart this bike completely. We're not doing a ton of modifications on this bike due to the fact that the owner, my friend Nick, doesn't wanna modify it too much, he just wants it to just be a fun scooter to get back and forth to commute to work and that's it. So we're gonna give you guys a lot of breakdowns on what we can do to this bike to add more probably aesthetics, uh, basic maintenance. So we're gonna teach you guys how to do the oil changes on this. We're gonna teach you how to swap out the exhaust and all the other fun stuff. So stay tuned for more content on this bike coming soon. The 2022 Kimco X-Town 300. Now that we're done talking about motorcycles, let's talk about cars. So we have three engines that we need to finish building. We have Domi Dom's Mark IV 1.8T engine being built right here. We have the Patreon VR6 Turbo that's being built. Uh, pretty much the engine's done. We just gotta finalize the uh, paint job on this because we gotta strip the paint on this and match it to the uh, all the other stuff. 
We got an oil uh, pump to go in and stuff. Uh, we also have my friend Ray Ray. We're going to be tearing down his VR6 and rebuilding this bad boy soon. And then we have my big, big horsepower uh, 2 liter uh, 1.8T that we're building Stroker right over here. We're going to try to go for 600 horsepower on that 1.8T very soon. And that's going in Filbert. Uh, my other 400 horsepower 1.8T is going to go in my other car. So we got a lot of stuff being built and we got a lot of content that has to be created. We got transmissions, we got engines. We're going to learn how to put a diff in a transmission. We're also going to learn how to tear apart a transmission as well. Um, we're also finishing up on the TDI conversion on my 71 VW bus. I mean, we have loads and loads of content to be created. So if you guys are first time coming here to the YouTube channel and you're learning about VWs, this is a great place to learn about VWs, uh, particularly the 1.8 and VR6 platform. We also have TDIs that are coming. we're gonna learn how to build as well. There's so much coming. So please be prepared for a lot of content. Um, we're gonna be making content for everybody this year and we're gonna be also, we're gonna be doing a lot of car shows and keeping up with everything that's going on in the Volkswagen world um, and obviously the motorcycle world. So if you guys are enjoying what we're doing here, please hit that like and subscribe button and make sure that notification bell is hit because without you guys, this channel is not possible. So please follow and enjoy all the content that we're creating. And as always here at Pete Chow's Garage, peace out, give deuces to everybody out there and as always here at Pinchell's Girls, we're going to break, we're going to fix, and we're going to repeat.